Hello, hello students. Welcome to my channel again. And uh, today we are going to perform the first plate on the geometrical constructions. So in the geometrical constructions, there, there are a series of uh, problems. So today we are going to solve problem number one, two, and three, which are to bisect a line, to bisect an arc, and to bisect an angle. Okay, to start with, I will be introducing to you the instruments. First, we have the 45 by 45 degrees by 90 degrees triangle. You can also use the other one, which is the 30 by 60 by 90 degrees triangle. And the most important tool here is the compass. You can have your options, a bigger one or a smaller one, but I am encouraging you to buy... Uh, a compass with a lock uh, strong enough to stand no? especially during the operation and then the T-square no? T-square okay so let's start um, first is that you are going to fasten your drawing paper So the same uh, process, you need to align the upper margin to the T-square and then secure your drawing paper with the masking tape or the drafting tape. Technically, you know, tawag dito is, tawag dito is uh, drafting tape. Now, so, gamit yung triangle nyo, the same pa rin yung process natin because we are going to divide the drawing paper into 6 equal parts. Yung pinaka-ibabaw nun, doon natin i-drawing. At yung pinaka-ilalim, doon natin ilagay yung mga steps. So, yung steps, uh, kayo na lang yung gagawa later on. Uh, kung paano natin gawin yung problem, of course, Papakita natin doon si Tas. Now, after that, kung nagawa na natin yung uh, mga vertical lines, then you set now the horizontal. So, ito'y gamit ko is 0 to 8. So, ibig sabihin, sa 4 tayo kukuha. And then, from there, divide natin yung line. Strike a line or horizontal line. So, ito na yung ating magiging... Uh, uh, drawing uh, venue no? so sa itaas lagay tayo ng lines no? guidelines for the problem so the height of this is approximately 3mm and then with the space of 1mm uh, gawa ka ng 5mm na line kasi dito may susulat so example sulat tayo problem Number one, dito problem, number two, and problem, Number 3. So, lagyan natin ng title. Usog muna natin yung T-square. So, to divide or to bisect No, no. So, ilis muna tayo. No? Lagyan natin to bisect line pala. Yung magagamit na rin natin yung uh, basic align then to basic an arc and 
of the last is to bisect an angle okay so after that dito sa ilalim uh, gawa tayo ng lines yung distance ng lines natin dito is 3mm lahat 3mm so be sure na yung mga lines mo consistent yung mga distances okay so dito natin isusulat yung steps so kumbaga mamaya dito nyo na isusulat tapusin nyo to and then I am also suggesting na lagyan nyo ng vertical na guide para sa mga straight lines natin So, yung straight lines nyo, pwedeng 5mm, pwedeng 3mm. So, ito yung guide. So, ibig sabihin, puno yung mga guides, uh, guidelines natin dito sa ilalim. Ito yung mga vertical lines. Okay? So, supposing, tapos na yung steps dito. Uh, susulat tayo, limbawa, steps. dito, lagyan rin tayo dito ng steps the purpose of this activity kaya nilalagyan natin ng steps para ma-enhance yung skill ninyo sa paggawa ng or pagsulat ng single stroke na littering na freehand So, ibig sabihin, sa susunod ng mga plates, meron pa itong mga steps hanggang sa ikatatlong uh, plate ng geometrical construction. Sa pagkatapos noon, sa ikapat na plate, so wala ng steps, lahat dito, mga drawing na. Okay, so let's start with the uh, problem number one. So, anywhere from this part, you strike a line, no? kahit na hindi siya hindi ka gumamit ng t-square dito, okay lang then, you terminate the line with the point lagyan ng label so approximately, yung height ng label natin is 3mm, lagay ka na limbawa A, ito yung B so from A ito yung magiging center mo lagay mo dito yung compass mo, i-extend mo so adjust Palakihin mo yung angle. Okay. Then, you strike an arc. So, be sure na yung compass is more than one half. Okay. Then, huwag mong galawin. You transfer to the other side. So, B. Yan. And then, you can create here points or intersection. Ito yung tatawagin nating O. At ito yung magiging P. So, ang gagawin natin, you connect O and P. So, pwede natin i-dark yung line. So, yung connection nun, yung intersection is magiging X. So, ibig sabihin, na-divide natin yung part na wala tayong ginamit na roller or measurement, gamit lang yung compass na magkapareho yung paghati. Okay? So, sunod. Next. Gamit yung compass. You strike anywhere dito. Okay? So, yung end ng ating arc, lagyan natin ng point. So, para magiging uh, definite yung arc at saka definite yung line. Kasi pag walang mark sa end, magiging indefinite yan yun yung ating uh, previous na lesson about uh, geometrical constructions so the same pa rin lagyan natin ng label to yung A to yung B with a height of approximately 3mm 
Then from point A to B, gawa tayo ng arc. So, dapat control ng konti yung compass. Transfer ka sa A. Either kung saan mo unahin. Pwedeng diretso o pwedeng putulin. Para lang makagawa ng, ng ano doon, intersection. So, ito naman yung magiging O. Ito naman yung magiging P. So, O. Tsaka P. So, intersect. So, gawa ka ng dark line. So, tahiran mo ng rag para makita mo talaga. So, ito na yung output. Then, the last, gawa ka ng angle kahit ano yung ano, degrees. No? So, ito yung point A. Ito yung B. Ito yung C. So, label natin. A. Okay. So, lagyan natin ng point dito. Lagyan natin ng point. So, check your compass. Kung medyo malaki, adjust natin. Halitin ng angle. So, use your point A as your center. Strike an arc. Passing through line A and... Oops, sorry. Passing to line... Ah, dito muna. Passing to line A and C. So, here... Kakagawa ka ng... Point X at saka Y. So, lagyan natin ng X at saka... Why? Okay? So, balik ka sa problem 2. Yung 2 by second arc. Use Y as your center at saka yung X and strike an arc here. Transfer ka rin dito sa kabila sa X. So, meron ka ng intersection. So, the intersection will become your O. So, connect O and A to by second arc. So, tapos na. So, ito na yung output natin. Dito, sa ilalim, sa steps, kayo na yung magsusulat dito. Okay? And after that, huwag kalimutang lagyan ng title yung plate natin. So, lagyan natin ng title. So, yung title ng ating plate is Bicep. Okay. Ito yung plate number 1. Sabihin natin plate number 1 ito sa geometrical. Depende yan sa instructor nyo kung i-continue niya o si-separate niya. So, lagyan ng date. Kung kailan nyo na sinimulan at kailan nyo na tapos. Okay? So, ito na yung ating output. So, see you sa susunod nating uh, tutorial.